Hi, teachers. There she goes, following her mama. I'm pleased to tell everybody that after we had staggeringly good results at the dog show, just when I thought Asher couldn't do better, I just can hardly even get my mind around the fact that we just got out of a three-day weekend with judges that I would have no idea how they would do. And we ended up with two Group 1 owner handles and two reserve best-in-show owner handled. This is in three days, too, and a Terrier Group 3 and Terrier Group 4, standing right alongside some of the most, well, the very top professional Terrier handlers in the whole country. So I'm a little bit staggered, but even more staggered by the fact that when we got home and Lexi did this, which is, again, a huge credit to our precious Lexi, who truly is just basically a family member by now, um, and I'm just eternally grateful for her, but she helped transition because Al came home from the show a day early, and I stayed up there. We had planned for him to come home early, and she transitioned Willow and Daisy, but the beautiful part was Willow was more happy to see Daisy than she was Lexi, which is really shocking. Right, Willie? So this idea of letting Willie leave the grounds and come back is was really brilliant because again at the show she saw Elvis her puppy who's a male even and she wanted to kill him I'd like if any of you all know Jay especially or Henrietta who know the breed and have been in dogs a long time please let me know my mentor did tell me it's not uncommon but I didn't ask her to elaborate as to why but this idea that a mom like Willow, she's wanted to, well, she has attacked two of her puppies when we were, uh, uh, she saw them. She's been a perfect mom to them, and then she sees them off of the property, or once they leave the nest, like when Elvis came back to be here when Chris and Lily went on vacation for a few days, she wanted to kill him. I mean, we had to really work hard, and basically right now why they're panting is it's, 99 degrees at 7.30 already in May. And that day with Chris and I doing it, we were walking around the yard in 102 degree heat because we were so worried about it. But um, I gotta get out here and scoop, obviously. There's something of Obi's. But anyway, look at our pretty girl. Uh, look at her. I think Henrietta, I figured out that she looks like a Geisha girl. If you hear Deidre's, Daisy, if you look at her face, Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. <gasps> Come here, Daisy. Give us a camera. Give us a close-up. I want to get a look at her face. Hi, Willie. Beautiful. There's my gorgeous Willie. But look. See, she can't really. She won't look. But she's getting these beautiful little freckles by her front of her face. I really hope her bite turns out. And I also hope that even if the bite turns out great, you know, uh, I hope it's as great as Willow's. Hers is exceptional for the breed. But, uh, even if it turns out just totally perfect to breed, but maybe not completely perfect, I'll be grateful. But I hope then I don't worry about her temperament or anything like that, because that all seems fine. But I really hope... Oh, that's Cherry. Cherry, get your butt over here. I tried to get her in earlier, and she snuck out. Come on, Cher. Come on. Come here, little geisha girl here. What I was going to say, what I hope turns out, is that she can actually have puppies and be fertile because she's you're our hope for the continued lines of Shasta Staffords because we're only going to do it hot cheer cheer we're only going to do it a few more oh this will be some good footage a few more breedings and then I'm leaving it to my younger people that have really wanted to take over good Willie good girl will and be loving because cheery love the puppy good girl will there we go anyway I'm tired myself so I may have lost the whole thread of where I was going. Willie, come here. Willie, don't you dare get tough with the kitty. Willie, Willie, good girl. Willie knows when I'm here not to pull any punches, right, Will? Good cheery, good girl. Cheery being love into the poppy. Here, Will, Will. Good girl. Oh, good girl. She loving the little kid. Good girl, Willie, too, leaving them to do their thing. Here, my Willis. And look at this beauty, Willie. So anyway, yeah, I guess what I was going to say was my hope, yeah, that she can also have the puppies. Look at her. Because see, there you go. There you go, Henrietta. Look at that geisha girl face. If you look close, she's got like, almost like the little clown 
she's got the little eyeliner coming out of her eye like a tear. I just am so grateful, you guys, because again, I don't want to get ahead of myself, because look at here, I had an Escher. Oh, by the way, I meant to say he also had those stellar results on top of the first limp he's had really pretty much in his life. He's had one other one when he was like an eight-month-old puppy, and we actually think it was from the bark at the fairgrounds, but uh, the fact that he careens around here 180 miles an hour into these really deep caverns is something... Uh, I'm sure you don't want to listen to me when you guys could all get this footage. But anyway, he ended up with a limp three days before the show, but it resolved itself, luckily. So, um, yeah. Where are you two going, Willis? Where are those guys going? Oh, I had a puppy. Gonna, the kitty going to have to show you who's boss. All right, I'm going to turn this off, you guys, so I can get that bad kitty in so she isn't eaten by coyotes. She sneaks out at night all the time. Daisy Jane! Hello! Are you knowing your name? Hi, Daisy Jane. Come here. You loving your mama. You loving your mama. They're all doing so good, you guys. We're going to have to work really hard on it. Oh, yeah, and I'll do another video to tell you guys about it. But I think I'm going to go ahead and neuter Obi. And the reason is, is I want to keep Willow through at least one more heat cycle just to see what happens with DJ. And also because we would like to keep showing her. And I just think it's going to be easier for Obi. Dobermans get really lovesick. I'm a believer in never neutering your males, but it's also not natural in nature to have two unneutered males. So, oh, look at Cheery. She's precious. Good girl, Cheery. I'm going to turn this off in a minute and get her. But i got to watch here that Willie doesn't think she needs to intervene. Or I'll get you too, Willie. Oh, anyway, yeah, so if you guys know anything about, because I lost my thread, why the females respond that way when their puppies leave the premises. And yet she did great when she herself left the premises. She was so happy to see DJ, happier than she was to see Lexi. So I would love any opinions or anybody that has some seasoned wisdom on that topic. Because Willie is an angel mom, aren't you, Willie? The best mom, but boy... She literally wants to kill him. She saw Elvis at the show this weekend, and she knew it was him, man. She scoped him out from all the other dogs, and if he came anywhere near her crate, it sounded like there was a caged lion in there. So I would love any opinions on that. All right, good. I think you guys got some great footage along with my verbosity. All right, have a good evening, everyone.